basically been my life now I've been home for the past couple weeks doing absolutely nothing because I have a fractured ankle I know I've got a lot of questions about what happened I'll explain soon but basically I've just decided to pick up the camera today because today I decided that I actually want to, to remove the cast and I don't know just basically try to get my life back together if some of you guys already follow me over on socials like Instagram and Twitter, you probably know I fractured my ankle while playing soccer. And yeah, that's the first time I actually broke a bone. And I think I finally can like start walking now. And I ordered this thing. I've just been ordering everything on Uber Eats. So <laughs> Uber Eats and Instacart. So I got like these KT tapes that I've been using for my knee. And also I got this adjustable compression thing so hopefully this would work good because it's just like the worst timing right now because next week is actually when I have a flight to Jamaica and I haven't been to Jamaica since 2016, right? And finally, finally when I get to go to Jamaica, my, my leg is like basically broken, you know what I mean? So hopefully this ankle monitor works good. This is step one of getting my life back together. I literally play football every day. The only time I don't play is if something happens and I don't get the chance to play, but I try to play every day because it's so fun. It's like good energy and it's basically my therapy. I love playing football. That's what I do. So I was playing on the sprained ankle, playing on the sprained ankle until about two weeks ago. I was running. I had no contact. Nobody touched me. I just do a quick change of direction. I felt my knee and like my ankle just, it just snapped. All right. My leg was numb for about... 20 seconds I couldn't feel anything I saw my entire leg was like snapped off after that we went to the hospital and everything and they did the x-rays and figured out that my ankle was fractured and you can see right here that there's a fracture oh yeah so, so you did break your ankle bone right here this is just kind of a side view and then this is another side view so you can see yeah that this is where you broke it here the best thing i could have done is just chill not move too much on it but i just think it's time man because it's just been really getting to me not filming i feel like i've just been blocked in my head like no ideas flowing so i just need to start getting back to it because Next week, I'm traveling, and first step, man, to get him back, your life together, you got to get a fresh cut. So you can see right now, my cut is not looking too fresh right now. So first order of the day, let's go to the barber. Let's, let's, let's get back that confidence, let's go. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Yeah, shoot. Mm -hmm. Don't know if it's a shoot or a shoot. Is it? Is it? Sorry. Can you, can you, can you? Shoot or shoot, bro. G. You don't know if it's a shoot or Is it? I'm about to see if we can do, do these pull ups, bro. You don't think I can do it? Are you, are you, good, are you good to record it? Yeah. Don't do that to yourself, man. Right, we're, so about, we're, about to, we're about to knock out these pull-ups, you feel me? Oh Easy. God, How much pull-ups, bro? 25 pull-ups. 25 pull-ups, bro. 30, that's, 30 nobody dips. does this that. This is the challenge, right? Because you want a free haircut, right? 25 pull-ups, 30 dips, straight. Okay? And it's gonna the chin has to be over the bar. It's 20 wide pull -ups, grip. 20 pull-ups. Wide grip. There's no negotiation. Wide 20 pull-ups, bro. 20 pull-ups, bro. One. Okay, that's not bad. Two. Okay. Three, you gotta come lower. Four, lower. That's good. Five. Six. Oh no, you won't pass me. Come on, keep going. Seven. Eight. Seven. 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 That, that wasn't Five. bad. Seven. That wasn't bad. That, was Seven. that was good. You got a discount? Yes, sir. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> 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 Dude, I'm 
All right, y'all, so I just got home. Um, it's currently 3.08 p.m. right now. It's a Tuesday. I forgot I even told you guys the date. It's a Tuesday. I just got some burst of motivation to start vlogging today. I don't know why, but it's a Tuesday, and I just got some bad news. So basically, I have my G2 license, which is the license you get after you get your G1 here in Ontario, like Canada. And apparently, if your G2 expires, you have to redo everything, like from G1, then do the G2 again. And I didn't know that. I thought if your G2 expired, you just re reapply, you renew your license. It's not looking too good right now. So I'm going to call my, um, my driving instructor to see if I could book a quick class and the soonest possibility that I could book my G road test. Oh my God. You will pass. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've been driving good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, you, I am happy to hear from you. Yeah. You can cook, then you communicate, okay? All right, thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. Welcome. And, uh, Shibon? Yeah. I will send one uh, uh, email address. You no need to pay HST. You can want $20 okay. only for me. Okay. No okay. need to HST. Okay. Because we are my ex student. Okay. Oh, thank you. What a nice, what a nice lady, man. All right, so hopefully I could get my test done. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me whenever I'm doing my driving test and stuff like that. But yeah, so I have to refill my video right now. So I'm gonna get to doing that. I have to order food. It's, it's gonna be pretty busy. guys just finished filming it's currently 502 by the way new wallpaper dropping soon you see that so I've been basically filming for two hours and everybody is on my like companies are on my ass right now guys but I'm transferring all the footage that I just shot for this Intel video that I'm working on right now so he's sending they just I was supposed to give them this video by 5 p.m. and it's now 5 p.m. so they just sent me a <laughs> see Two minutes ago, I'm fighting for my life. They just said, hey, Siobhan, just check in. Will you be sending the revise assets soon? And I haven't started editing, bro. And Samsung contract just came in again. I have to review this contract because I'm going to be in a Samsung media commercial, which is going to be sick. Also, my manager just sent over another contract for HP. So I have to sign that as well. So today I've done three deals which is basically six figures. I know some of you guys always wonder, like, Siobhan, where you get all this money? People be commenting on my YouTube asking what I do, which is YouTube, but the, the prices for these brand deals are like, it's really high rates. So, for example, for this one right here, I can't really tell you guys who is um the, like, who's, this, who's sponsoring the video, but let me just show you the rates real quick. So you can see for this video, I'm getting paid 28,000 US dollars. I did another deal which was which was over forty thousand dollars which i'm working on right now so this is literally it's not to flex or anything guys i've been doing this but it's just for some transparency because i feel like a lot of people keep asking me like how you afford all this stuff and that's one of the reasons why and of course you guys know i have my digital store as well and yeah when you invest all this money like my manager keep texting me right now when you invest all this money you make good investments guys you'll reap the rewards so Oh my god <laughs> just to let you guys know anything you want to do in life is possible i started out making this is not overnight guys i've been doing youtube since 2016 it's now 2023 and i've been consistent throughout the years so it's definitely hard work paying off it's just not overnight so you have to be determined don't always just do it for the money do it because you love it that's the reason why i'm still going strong right now and by the way i know people in the tech space that is making way more than me so this is not a flex in the slightest shape or form. It's just transparency for you guys to understand more and just me just being a little more vulnerable. And also, hopefully, it's somewhat inspiring to you guys to know what's achievable in this space, especially for younger tech creators like myself or even tech creators who have been doing it for a while but felt like giving up because they think there's no hope. Trust me, there's a brighter light at the end of the tunnel. Just keep working hard and stay consistent. Right, so let me just sign up this contract work. 
transfer all the footage and start editing this revised content because this video is supposed to go live tomorrow and I still haven't given them the final version so I'm I still haven't I had dinner like lunch or anything guys I just had breakfast so it's a tough day so far all right guys quick update I know it's looking pretty bright outside the sun's going down and everything but it's currently 8 28 p.m. I've been <laughs> yo I've been working all day literally but finally I'm about to export this video guys as you can see final that's it I've done three revisions please let this be the last one export Mac Studio should be doing better than this it's like a seven minute video it's taking 13 minutes to export a seven minute video like are you serious then after this I have to upload it to YouTube send them the unlisted video and hopefully it goes live tomorrow you guys are gonna see me upload this video tomorrow that's crazy like you guys are seeing me upload a video well wow. I'm starving though <laughs> So, since I haven't eaten all day, I decided to pull up to this spot called the Diner's Corner. My friends told me about it, so I had to check it out to see what it's all about. And based off how the restaurant looks and how the food is smelling, I think we're up for a good treat today. So yeah, just got the food. It's in the bag. I got fried chicken, rice and peas, and they, they put oxtail gravy on. I think it's on the chicken or on the side. I don't really remember. Bear in mind, I'm actually walking right now. That's crazy. I'm still limping. But we walking bro. That's a good sign. I should probably rest my leg, but bro. I was actually super tired of just being at home every time But yeah, I'm gonna put this camera away because I'm on my dollar right now And I have a big ass camera in front of me and people are behind me and I'm vlogging They probably think I'm weird. <laughs> so I'll catch you guys when I get home The food is looking absolutely phenomenal Oof. Vault 2 if you guys don't know what this is first of all it's like flour, but um, fried, I think. Uh, I'm gonna chill for the rest of the night, get cozy, and I'll catch y'all tomorrow. 7.37 a.m. I'm just gonna head to Starbucks to get some breakfast right now, so I'm gonna call up an Uber. Hold on, quick fit check, you know what I'm saying? Dunks, gallery. That's how we're looking. So, believe it or not, I'm not a Starbucks addict, but every time when I skip breakfast and I quickly need to just grab something and go, I usually just stop by Starbucks and get me a bacon and cheese sandwich and just a coffee, and I'm good to go for the rest of the day. Right after my coffee break, I called up an Uber, headed all the way to Scarborough because I needed to do my G driving lesson. So even though I would classify myself as a pretty good driver on the road, apparently my driving instructor is saying that I do need a little more lessons to be more aware on the road. For example, she's saying I'm not checking my blind spots enough. And also whenever I'm driving, I'm not really in the middle of the lane. I don't know, but that was my recommendations from her and things that I need to work on. So I guess I probably have to go back to another class soon. But today was a good lesson and everything went well. All right, thank you. Okay. Bye bye. All right, so my driving lessons finished. She's saying I need to do one more driving lesson, guys, but I don't know. I feel like I'm ready. So uh, waiting for the bus, just like old days. You know what I'm saying, bro? You see, this is the reason why I got a car. Like I was literally waiting for the bus. The bus came. I walked up to the bus. The lady literally looked at me and drove off, bro. This is it's not it. So I just called an Uber for pickup. It's gonna be here in one minute. I'm telling you bro, this, this transit life in Toronto is not it because everybody has that damn attitude and like bro, my leg is messed up so I'm limping towards the bus. This lady looks at me and literally just drove off with the bus bro because I took too long like <laughs> crazy where we live in bro. Alright, 
right, so my food just got here. Sweet and sour chicken with the fried rice, with the, the broccoli. Let's see, let's see what type of vibes the fortune cookie is giving us today. Let's see what they talking about. Keep in touch with your feelings. Damn. I don't know what they mean by that, but I'm gonna I'm hear you up. I think I'm, I'm, I'm like a cold hearted person, to be honest. And I don't know why, I feel like it's because I grew up by myself, I didn't really grow up with any siblings, so I'm always like alone, I have fun like, like just being alone, you know what I'm saying, so keep in touch with your feelings, I don't even know what that means really, but I feel it. Keep in touch with your feelings, I feel like, how about you guys, I feel like no matter how I'm feeling, I'm never the one to like go to somebody and really vent how I'm really feeling, like if somebody acts like, yo Siobhan, is everything good, I'm like, yeah, if it's not good, because I feel like nobody could really help me past whatever I'm feeling. I just have to deal with it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like I'm not trying to look soft or whatever, but I feel like I just always knew how to deal with my own shit. And just, I don't know. I could just, I, it's hard to find myself telling people how I really feel because I feel like they can't really do anything to help me feel better, you know what I mean? Keep in touch with your feelings. As long as I know that I'm being honest with myself, as long as I know that, um, keep my composure if I'm feeling down or I'm feeling good or just be responsible for my own emotions, if that makes sense, I feel like that's me really being in touch with my feelings. The only thing I'm really lacking in that aspect is just sharing with others how I really feel. And I said before, it's just the fact that I feel like I should just tough it out as a man, you know what I'm saying, and deal with shit that I gotta deal with, you know what I'm saying, and keep pushing. And yeah. That's just how it is. That's how I think. But anyways, enough of that shit. Today's a pretty chill day. I'm not trying to do too much work today. Yesterday was hectic. Um, today, I need, I'm need. i supposed to be uploading that video that I edited yesterday, but I'm still waiting for the brand to approve it. And also, I have this video that I wanted to edit for my friend, but I don't know. It's been, going on, it's been dragging for a minute, so I'll probably edit that today. But otherwise than that, today is a pretty chill day. I have physiotherapy at 3. Wanted to watch the Real Madrid and Man City match, but physiotherapy is at three as well, so it's clashing. And this food, bussum, 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 bussum. But you don't want to necessarily like drive it through the pain. Yeah. But you want to sort of like, like sort of brush up to it. Tension. All right, just leaving the physio. Somewhat of a good news is my leg seems to be fine. It's just like, I just have to wait until it recovers. So we're just gonna work on strengthening the knee, but the issue is my ankle still hurts. <laughs> we did it, the YouTube video and TikTok is now live. That was hectic, but it's live, you know what I'm saying? So if you're not watching it, click the link down below to watch that video. But yeah, good job, Chevy. Now I think we could go ahead and watch some real Madrid because I heard they're actually losing. If you wonder what this is all about. What? Real Madrid. Benzema, Modric, Camavinga. Wow, how, bro? Like how, bro? You telling me Man City is that good? Is Manchester City that good? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Pull up to the spot called Alwyn's 
Alright, rice in peace. And we're gonna see if it's good, huh? You put you under pressure? Alright, have a good day. Bye. Jerk chicken. That's what it's looking like. I see. Not gonna lie. That's pretty good. That is impressive. My trainers out here killing me, bro. But so far, so good. I took like uh, a week off gym because my leg wasn't good. Still not wearing the um, walking boot I'm supposed to, but I have an ankle support on. So I do not advise it, but because I'll be traveling next week, I just wanted to be in the best shape possible because if I did miss gym for one more week, that would be like two weeks without the gym. And it will just be like, a crazy start over to get back on my strength, so gotta do what you gotta do. So I'll see you, what am I seeing you? Like two weeks. So I'm seeing you on Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Yeah, so you're away on the 29th, but you're back on the 30th. Okay. All right. All right. Well, see ya. Good trip. Let me see. Well, you have, let me tell you, you have different times. Yo, let's turn it This, look at my hair, bro. This is quality hair right here. <laughs> First day on the job, so we'll give her a look of blood, but we have the soup. What kind of soup? Chicken soup? Chicken soup by Chef Mac. Whoa, look at that. Nice. Get some of the, the yam. You need that. Trang bok. Trang bok. If you know, you know. No explaining. Some banana. Oh, this look nice. Yo, look at that. Oh, God. Marvelous. Yes. Yes, sir. Ooh. All right, All right. Then. About to eat up. Cameraman, lift up the camera. <laughs> Yo, you can't see me? Yes. Right. Okay. The food was all right. It was kind of salty. But aside from that, yeah. I don't know why the plate's so clear, but... It was, all, it was all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You almost eat the boy. <laughs> Eight out of ten. If it's love, I want everything. Touch my soul, touch my heart, don't trust my mental. They told me that life is simple, been real since Papa Pimple. I saw that out in the rain, no Sonata, the president. Yes, sir. Fresh again, ready for Jamaica next week. I like to know. Yeah. Fresh I would have much time for reminiscing, is it? So I'm not doing that. Wait, you were not here. I'm not here. Oh, oh. Um, put on this door real quick. Yeah. It does my. It does my. At the end of the day. Wait, did you sell? It not to us. Did you speak once and listen twice? They told me that less is simple. I'm observing in the room. I'll be flying all over. To be fast, man. Yeah, you can start recording now. Room, I'll be flying all on the wall, open mouth conversation. Sorry for being late. Oh my goodness, no worries, 
Yeah. Yeah, the traffic was crazy. I'm coming from the east end. Oh. Yeah. So much traffic. It's so crazy. Like the gardener had to go all the way down to like. Where did we go? To this hotel before? Um, no. I've been to the restaurant, I oh, think. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, well, the hotel just celebrated its 20th birthday. It did oh, okay. have renovations in 2019 where it did the corridors and some of the rooms and the nice. amenities. And you will see that when you step into our beautiful Soho Suites. Okay. That's yeah. Best Buy has taken over. <laughs> their game so Oh, nice. Are you we already know um, for Father's Day, Best Buy Canada is doing uh -huh. a contest for dads across Canada. Uh, okay. To get a tent for a cool, two night cool, cool. stay. Um, this is for you, just some uh, QR codes for top selling products at Best Buy. Great okay. Father's Day gift day. Um, really, you just scan in the QR and then it'll show. It'll show. Up to all of and then also I want to introduce you to Matthew from Best Buy. Hey, hey. We've talked about Siobhan. you over email. Nice oh, to meet really? You. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. to meet you finally. Nice to meet you as well. So much emails. Like, totally, you know? totally, totally. You don't know who is who. You don't know who's behind the. Yeah, I know exactly. We're gonna put this here, mm -hmm. and then there's this touch screen here till it goes. Yeah, and then turn it to the right. Smell your coffee. That's it. That's the espresso, and then we're gonna check, like add the milk. oat milk into it as okay. well. Okay. Thank you. But thank you. Appreciate thank you it. Time. Of course, of course. <laughs> So this is like Best Buy's, um, I mean, first of all, this is the Soho Hotel, so this is what the suites look like. But this Nano Leaf design is crazy. Check it out, that's, that's actually pretty sick. And of course, Best Buy. So you have the Best Buy sheets and everything. Got, you do got a little, little nice view, not too crazy. We're on what, the second floor? Well, let's check out, let's check out the bathroom though. See what we got going on over here. So you have like a little closet. You get you even get a, your own safe. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna start something in there real quick. Different shelves. The bathroom. Oh, this is nice. Spiffy. This is nice. Like I would love my condo bathroom to look like this. One day. <laughs> you taking a poop? You could still make a car like, yo, I need eggs, scrambled eggs, bacon, sausage, please. Oh man, the summer nights up here is supposed to be crazy. <laughs> Concierge can organize a private sort of chef for you. Yeah. You barbecue. You have the access of the hot tub. All I right. wanted you to see it. It's nah, it's sick. For me, for you guys to see this. So. Sure. Thank you so much for yep. your time. Yeah, appreciate it okay. for sure. Wish all you all right. the best. Yes, I'm glad. You have a good rest of your weekend. You yeah. Okay, you have my card. Send me the link. So I yeah, yeah, I got you. And also yeah. All right. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Personally guys, I pride myself on keeping my place clean. Even my maid said I'm like one of her only clients that always has a clean place. But every two or so weeks, every two weeks, I just love to have my maid come in on like Fridays and just get the place right because there's so much crevice and corners that I always miss when I'm cleaning and especially because I have this leg issue right now I just I can't even bother to think about it so I'll have her come in she does her job and I love it I'm talking about ironing the sheets going in all the crevices and corners that I wouldn't think of organizing stuff like the dishes all that it's just always refreshing to come home to a clean place Usually when she's working, I like to leave the, the condo and go to a coffee shop or just go do some errands, go to the gym because I just don't like being in her space whenever she's here cleaning because, I don't know, it's just kind of awkward. I just rather her to do her thing, I'm not in her way, and she just gets the job done. Oh, sorry. Alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna take this off. 
I'm gonna open a plug so I could use it. Okay. Yeah. It's like two weeks now. Yeah. And I'm I'm leaving I'm leaving Monday to go to Jamaica. Yeah. I have to stay on. I just started Wednesday I'd really just started to move around. Yeah. Sucks. I think these are clean. Is there anything else I'm missing? I think that's it. Alright, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, bro, this man. Yo. You hit the car twice. Huh? Any marks? You have a lot of space here. You stop, stop. You hit the car again. What the hell? You damaged the back of my bumper. This guy literally hit the car twice, bro. Like all of this. Here. I did that? Yes. Okay. Huh? An exchange insurance? Yeah, because this is a carbon fiber bumper. I've never seen one of those. Huh? I've never seen this. Yeah, it's custom. Well, honestly, I was so pissed that this guy just literally bumped my car. He bumped my car three times in the bumper, but it's not that bad, honestly, guys. I'm not that petty. He's such a nice guy. He's just older, you know what I'm saying? So I just let him be. It's whatever. It's just a car. If it was worse, though, I would definitely be on his ass. Vanilla latte and sugar-free vegan breakfast cookie. My parking ended like 10 minutes ago, so hopefully I didn't get a ticket. I didn't see the notification that my parking ended, but if I ever get a ticket, bro, I'm gonna be pissed because I did pay for parking. Quick ticket check. All right, we're good. <laughs> I didn't get a ticket, bro. Let's go. My bestie. Uh, I'm, I'm vlogging today. Oh, my it's cool, it's cool. What'd you get? Fries, no. <laughs> the first time I see her, she's slacking. What's that? It's like a taco place. It's so good. I still haven't tried Mexican food. That was good. Ooh, that was nice. Dirty. <laughs> it's dirty, as in like greasy. It's all right, it's just... Scale of one to ten. Five. Your favorite meal? Oh, you get this every Friday? No, I really, I want to She's lying. I she get this really, every Friday. I was gonna get tacos, and then I saw this, and I'm like, this sounds even better. All right, all done? Nice, nice, nice. Appreciate it. It's all good. Yeah, check Yeah, everything looks good. Just got back home guys. So far, today has been a pretty chill day. This is how I love my Fridays to be. I love working during the week and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm just chilling. That's why I always upload videos on Sunday as well because I grind out the week so I can have the weekend to myself. But as I was just trying to start packing up for Monday, I realized that I don't have enough clothes for a tropical weather country like Jamaica. I need to get stuff like basic tees, undershirts, 
I need new pair of socks, underwear, small essential items for traveling. I haven't traveled since 2016, right? So I definitely need to get my traveling gear up right now. Also, my mom sent me a list of things she wanted me to bring down for her. My little sister also sent me a list of things she wanted me to bring down for her. So I guess today, we're gonna go shopping. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gun play. Oh my. Praise like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do? Which color up what you want? This black, silver, or like white? Black. black. Alright, later. Alright, appreciate it. And you Alright, thank you. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. The majority of the shopping I do is literally for my mom and little sister. Like, I don't really need anything, but you gotta get them right because they deserve it. I wanna know if you can give me the keys to your heart, baby. One of my favorite stores, Uniqlo. When it comes to basic, just white tees, you can't go wrong with these guys. <laughs> Yo, oh, hell, open it, open it. Oh. oh. What a day. <laughs> All right, receipt. Let's go, bro. That's it. I'm done. Appreciate it. Right in the middle, my man. Thanks. Shit made me terrified. That nigga could creep up on me in the But it's deeper than dying. Yeah, I'm tripping off that. It's a pity for him. Yo, man, he did the thing for sure. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Oh, man. I saw the girl, they were doing the thing. It was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fresh. Huh? From our shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to do it. 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 What's my biggest share? Yeah. What do you want uh, from? I have everything by age baked crypto. Oh, for real? Yeah. So futures, leverage. Who do you want? Just tuck that into your pocket. I'm going to ask you a question. All right. Hi, bro. Start with your name. What's your name? What are you doing today? My name is Siobhan. Wait, what should I say? My name is Siobhan Salmon, and I'm here with the Samsung Connectivity Show. Amazing. What are you expecting today, man? Any Samsung, any uh, Samsung pro products or technology that you uh, like or see? Yeah, I love the Galaxy Top and also the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 Hey yo, what up? My name is. <laughs> oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. See, we was cool right before he hit the ball, and yeah. it's just like, does it, does it get, does it get nervous for me? Yeah. Like, nah, hell no. Like, okay, I, you're saying that, but like. No, I'm. It's like, if I'm there with people, yeah. if it's just like me talking with a like couple people, it's good. But if I'm going up there, like, talking to everybody, I'll no. shit my pants for sure. I'm excited, it's gonna be super fun. And that's it, so that's our wrap for today, guys. We did like, we came here at what, 4? 4.30. It's now 8 p.m. The mic guy is on, is on my ass right now. He's like, yo, I need a mic. But yeah, it was fun. It, it went smoothly, everybody was chill. So yeah, see you guys whenever I see you. I think this might be the end of the video, I don't know.
Let me just, <laughs> excuse me. Um, Sir Chevy stepping through.